ओके क्लास एट दिस इज अ वीडियो ऑन सम सिंपल न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ओके बेस्ड ऑन डेंसिटी और राइट यू नो मास वॉल्यूम वेट यू डेंसिटी ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट चेक द फॉर्म्यूले यू वी नो डेंसिटी इज मास अपॉन वॉल्यूम राइट ना फ्रॉम दिस वेरी इक्वेशन ऑफ कॉर्स वेन वी क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई वी गेट मास इज डेंसिटी इन टू वॉल्यूम लाइकवाइज वॉल्यूम इज मास अपॉन डेंसिटी सो इफ यू नो दिस रिलेशन डेंसिटी इज मास अपॉन वॉल्यूम ओके यू ऑलरेडी दैट मीन्स यू नो नंबर टू एंड नंबर थ्री इफ यू नो वॉट डेंसिटी इज विच इज मास अपॉन वॉल्यूम ओके यू कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट वॉट मास एंड वॉल्यूम आर now relative density is density of a substance divided by density of water this is the definition that we've learned okay now based on these equations based on i have written formula over here okay based on these four equations all right or four formula we are going to look at four different problems if you practice numericals which are similar to the examples that i've discussed over here okay that is more than enough for you all okay so let us look at the first problem so it says a piece of zinc of mass 438.6 grams okay this is the mass we have a piece of zinc okay whose mass is this much and it has volume of 86 cm cube or cubic centimeter all right so calculate the density of zinc in si units it says as you can see gram is not the si unit of mass centimeter cube is not the si unit of volume all right but we need to calculate density in si units all right so let's proceed see first of all you always start with what is given always you start a numerical problem with what is given in the question so what are the things given given mass is 438.6 grams volume is 86 cubic centimeter so these are the things provided to us so let us calculate density so density is mass upon volume we know this from definition of density so density is mass upon volume so which is this is the mass 438.6 grams divided by 86 cm cube this is the volume so you know uh, i obviously used a calculator over here to get this okay but you all are not that privileged all right so you don't have that privilege to use a calculator so you have to work this mathematics out you have to divide 438.6 by 86 all right start with 2 2 into 43 is 86 and likewise divide by 2 and then see what you get Okay, you can start that way. So you eventually get five point one gram per centimeter cube. So this is my density. This is what I get. Now, if the question was simply like calculate the density of zinc, okay, if this part was not here in SI unit, this part was not here, okay, uh, then you could have ended over here. So five point one grams per centimeter cube. This is the so this gram divided by centimeter cube is gram per centimeter cube. Don't forget. So you could have ended over here. You could have stopped here. But since the question specifically says find the density of zinc in SI units, so therefore now we know one gram per centimeter cube is one thousand kilogram per meter cube. Okay, if you've seen this, I have shown you in the previous videos. Okay, so if you don't know how to get how we get this, okay, you can. give a look at those previous videos so 1 gram per centimeter cube is 1000 kg per meter cube therefore 5.1 gram per centimeter cube will be how much 5.1 into 1000 kg per meter cube which gives us 5100 kg per meter cube so 5.1 gram per centimeter cube is the same as 5100 kg per meter cube now kg per meter cube is the si unit of density so therefore density of zinc of course in si units is 5100 kg per meter cube so this is our problem number 1 this is how you deal with this kind of a problem straight for it's pretty straight forward if you know your conversions correctly all right then uh, it is not a big deal okay this simply comes from the definition now let us look at problem number 2 numerical number 2 so it says a piece of wood we have a piece of wood whose volume is 200 cubic centimeter so its volume is given and its density is 0.75 g per centimeter cube now see its volume is given and its density is given now we are to find the mass of the wood the question says find the mass of the wood so again we start with whatever is given okay so given volume is 200 cm cube density is 0.75 g per cm cube so therefore mass from the definition mass is density into volume okay so this is equal to the given density is 0.75 g per cm cube 
and 200 centimeter cube now this centimeter cube as you all know is in the denominator so this centimeter cube this centimeter cube they cancel and not cancel they divide each other out okay thereby we are only left with grams the unit is gram thereby okay so 0 0.75 into 200 is 150 okay you can work out the mathematics so 150 grams is the answer so mass of wood is 150 grams okay now since here as you can see it only says calculate the mass of the wood so we stop here if the question was again calculate the mass of the wood in SI units then of course you would have to convert this 150 grams to kilogram okay another problem problem number three so in the first problem we calculated density in the second problem we calculated mass now the third problem is regarding volume so let us read the question calculate the volume of wood again wood of mass 6000 kilograms so this is given mass is given if the density of wood is 0 0.8 gram per centimeter cube okay now pay attention to one thing over here mass is given in kilograms which is the si unit for mass whereas density is given in gram per centimeter cube okay remember one thing very very clearly okay you will need this in your higher classes also or whenever you work out numericals you always have to work in the same system of units it is very very important this is given in si this is not in si this is in cgs okay we have to but we need to work in the same system of unit if we are working in si okay we have to work in si every all the units should be converted to si whereas if we prefer to work in cgs which of course we can do all right um, we have to convert all of the units like this mass is in si we have to convert it in cgs okay but what is preferred is in icse and isc okay it is always preferable to work in si units all right so therefore what we do is since this mass is already in si units we don't convert it of course whereas this density density is given in a uh, gram per centimeter cube which is a cgs unit okay so we have to convert this to si which is kilogram per meter cube we have to convert this to kilogram per meter cube remember we have to work always in the same system of units okay so mass given again so mass is 6000 kilogram density is 0 0.8 gram per centimeter cube okay now which i convert to si unit over here okay since one gram per centimeter cube is 1000 kilogram per meter cube so i multiply this 0 0.8 by 1000 giving me 800 kilogram per meter cube okay now mass is also in si density is also in si the same system of units okay so therefore um, volume is given by from definition volume is mass upon density so this becomes equal to 6000 kilogram divided by 800 kilogram per meter cube okay so this kilogram this kilogram they divide each other this meter cube goes up all right so therefore we have 800 divided by 6000 is sorry 6000 divided by 800 is 7.5 meter cube okay so therefore the volume of wood is 7.5 meter cube okay so remember remember a very very important point this is we have to work in the same system of units that is why we converted okay in the previous problems that we dealt with okay uh, this was also mass was also in cgs volume was vo was also in cgs in the second problem also volume was in cgs density was in cgs the same system of units so therefore we didn't have any problem whatsoever but since here we have different units different system of systems of units okay so we have to work in the same system of units remember that so with that let us proceed to question number four a piece of wood has density 800 kilogram per meter cube okay the density is given the density of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube find the relative density of wood okay so density of wood is given density of water is given you have to find the relative density of wood now this is a pretty straightforward question okay so we start with what is given given density of wood is 800 kilogram per meter cube density of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube now we know from definition rate of density is what rate of density is density of a substance divided by density of water so density of the substance here that we are dealing with the substance we are dealing with here is wood so rate of density of wood will be density of wood divided by density of water 
okay so density of wood is given to be 800 kilogram per meter cube density of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube so this gives us relative density is 0 0.8 and of course i didn't use my calculator to do this all right anyway so relative density is 0 0.8 uh, as you can see it is unit less remember I have told you in the previous video also relative density is a unit less quantity. So kilogram per meter cube, kilogram per meter cube, they divide each other simply. Okay, so we get 0 0.8. So therefore, relative density of wood is 0 0.8. All right. Uh, now, if you've checked my previous video, uh, we have we had discussed this point. Okay, if the relative density of a substance is lesser than 1, okay, as you can see 0 0.8, uh, that is the relative density of wood is lesser than 1, 0 0.8 is lesser than 1. So therefore, wood will float on water, remember. Anything having relative, because 1 is relative, you can say 1 is relative density of water, okay, um, roughly speaking. Now, since relative density of wood is lesser than 1, okay, so, relative den uh, so wood floats on water, remember that. Anything having density, relative density lesser than 1 will float on water. Anything having relative density greater than 1 will sink in water. Remember that. Okay. Uh, so with this, let me end my video. I hope you all are keeping safe. Take care. Thank you.